love peace light and blessing soul family welcome back to the channel if you're new to the channel welcome welcome my name is jazz if you're one of my a1 day one subscribers shout out to you spiritual gangsters your original soul this is going to be a collective love reading for the sign of aries if you have aries in your sun moon rising and or venus placement these messages should could or would apply to you Please only take what resonates with your intuition and leave the rest behind. Please also don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, you guys. We're going to tap in. We're going to see what's good with tea with Aries in love. Thank you, God. Thank you, angels. Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, ascended masters. Mother God, Father God, I ask that you utilize me as a humble vessel. Fill me up with divine love, divine light, divine lessons, divine blessings divine messages and divine guidance for myself and for the collective of Aries. I ask that you fill us up until we overflow mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. Ashe, ayi bo bo, amun. Let's tap in. Y'all got a new beginning. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Aries, y'all got y'all wings, baby. Spirit says, go fly. I'm trying to send you to new heights, to new people, to new energies, to new horizons, to new, okay, mountaintops, to new, okay. Y'all got some newness surrounding you guys. There is new beginnings on the horizon for the collective of Aries. I feel like it's very adventurous. It says there is a new adventure that awaits you. So an adventure is something that you've never seen before. And I just heard Tasha Cobbs, I'm getting ready. Ready for overflow. Yes, I'm ready. Ready for overflow. Yeah. Ready for overflow. All right. I'm ready with you, Aries. Can is can can you take me with you? I mean, is it room for two? Can I come on this new beginning? Somebody also just wants the very new beginning with you, okay? They 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 want to shake things up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Um, this has a lot to do with love, but this also has a lot to do with you. There's newness surrounding you here, Aries. And I think as a result of all of this newness you're cultivating around your dreams, your ambitions, and, and all of this stuff like that, yeah, you got new love coming in too. Like there's a new beginning for you to embrace a new person in new love so there is this sayonara to the past energy any any of that past energy that 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 was still lingering even just the slightest little bit it's gotta go because this new door will never fully open until the old one closes spirit says and this new door wants to open so bad because there's so many beautiful things behind this new door Spirit says that they have in store for you. So let's see what this new beginning is, Spirit. What is this new door that you have in store for the collective of Aries, Spirit? Damn. That was far. Sorry, y'all. This thing just went flying. Who we got? We got the Queen of Cups. It's new love, baby. It's the new love. <laughs> Why did I start feeling like real flirtatious? Like, I just, I don't know. Y'all new beginning is about to be real flirty, okay? Y'all about to be batting y'all eyelashes and, 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 and kissing and telling, bitch. I, I, I see the queen of cups going back to her girlfriends, kissing and telling, girl. You know, let me tell you why he invited me to the park and all he did was fill on my booty and lay, lay on my chest. Let me tell you why, you know, this new beginning, you know, when you first meet somebody, you got so much to say. You got so much to talk about. The Queen of Cups right now is feeling very emotional because it's butterflies. That's why it's the Queen of Cups. You have butterflies as a result of meeting this person, as a result of following your dreams, as a result. This shit gives you butterflies. You give me butterflies inside, inside. I just wanna touch and kiss and I. That's that new shit. That's them. That's them fresh early stages. I feel like a, a large portion of the collective of Aries has recently started over. Y'all have finally mustered up enough strength to decide to start over. A lot of people genuinely stay in toxic relationships because it's hard to start over. It's so comfortable to be familiar with what you know, you know? 
But I think that some of y'all have must up, mustered up enough strength to embark on this new beginning with somebody that gives you butterflies. It makes you feel like the Queen of Cup, like a little emotional, very romantic. Um, hmm. Y'all cards flying all over the place. We got the Eight of Wands. This is somebody that you've been talking to like every night, every morning. This is somebody that checks in, Spirit says, throughout the day. Because you see how he's feeding her grapes? This is somebody who cares about what you ate. This is somebody who wants to check to see what was for breakfast. You ain't eat breakfast? Why you ain't eat breakfast, babe? Y'all reading is making me real. <laughs> Y'all reading is making me real giddy. <laughs> like, yeah. Ew, y'all reading is making me so giddy. Y'all see how he's feeding her? It's because he cares about her with the eight of wands. Somebody wants you to communicate your needs to them. Somebody wants to anticipate your needs here as well. This new beginning is about to feel brand spanking new. It's about to feel like no other. I don't feel like nobody ever held you down the way that this person intends to hold you down here, Aries, on some real shit. This is somebody who definitely, um, with the eight of wands, you get a good morning text. You get a good night text. You get some text throughout the day if they're a little too busy for all that shit. Or you just get this constant uh consistent communication this nice flow of communication this effortless uh reciprocation and with the eight of wands it's like definitely i see shit moving you know what i'm saying this new beginning is gonna kind of take off a little fast so don't be afraid of that somebody genuinely just cares about you they want to speak to you they want to hear your voice they want to be around you with that eight of wands they they definitely want to um be able to anticipate your needs here as well they want you to communicate your needs to them so that way they could better figure out your wants and your needs as well. And we got the high priestess. They want you to communicate your needs to them because I do feel like you could be very, very quiet at times. With the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, you could definitely be dealing with a Piscean energy here, Aries, um, possibly. But I rarely ever call out signs, you guys, but y'all love it. So I'm going to just call, what's up, Pisces? Introduce your shit. Definitely jump out in the reading. Um, but there's this water-like energy surrounding this connection where it's very emotional, it's very intuitive, it's very spiritual here with the High Priestess. This new beginning is going to be a combination of, 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 of matter and physical, meaning that you are going to be embracing somebody physically, you're going to be encountering somebody physically, but then there is also going to be this tie into some type of spiritual background, spiritual commonality, spiritual um, chemistry here, spiritual connection with the high priestess. I feel like this is somebody that you've seen in your dreams here, Aries. This new beginning is something that you've manifested some time ago or was revealed to you some time ago here with this high priestess energy as well. I feel like because the queen of cups is very intuitive. So the way that she's holding this man and it's like I seen you coming she knew that shit and with the high priest is clarifying that I, I feel like you manifested a perfect package and it came signed sealed and delivered right from God right from spirit this new beginning is about to be something that I feel like you're going you have been looking forward to I feel like a lot of things have just been dry you've been going through this dry spell here Aries and out of nowhere I feel like you're finally going to manifest with the, with the high priestess exactly what you want that was the purpose of the dry spell to make sure that you didn't settle to make sure that um you were able to come into contact with energies that you were absolutely positively 100% sure that just wouldn't that work we 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 ain't it you know what i'm saying you got to experience um a couple of experiences to be able to come to those solid conclusions like i know exactly what to not look for spirit will do that to you as well because unfortunately humans learn the best through experience so some of the dry spell that you've been going through was to make sure that you didn't settle for anything less than what you manifested here with the high priestess so your new beginning is going to wow you it's going to shock you it's going to be everything that you wanted if you want a consistent communication with the eight of wands bam here you go spirit says huh if you wanted an emotional connection somebody who's emotionally stable here spirit was like bam here you go if you wanted somebody that was spiritual and in tune and conscious as well as you are here aries spirit said here you go sign sealed delivered and we got the hermit 
that's that dry spell that I felt that you've been going through here, Aries. I definitely feel like prior to this new beginning that you're getting ready to embark on, you were in some type of hermit mode where you were reevaluating your own wants and your own needs, making sure that whatever it was that you was putting out into the universe was, was cohesive with what it is that you were also emanating. Because a lot of people have a tendency to expect more than they're willing to give, and that's not reciprocal. That's not equal. That's not balanced. And I think that you took that necessary necessary dry spell time with the hermit energy to go within yourself to get clear with yourself to get in tune with yourself to, and and that's why it's going to kind of come out of left field when you see this person it's going to be like well i've been so content with being by myself like why are you here now why are you showing up now like spirit done made me so comfortable with being solo why are you why are you popping up now? Why are you in my face now? Where are you coming from? Straight out of left field. Because I do feel like you was getting real comfortable in that hermit mode. You was getting real comfortable during the, the dry spell that you went through. That spirit finally wanted you to just close out some type of door. A door that, that you were refusing to close here, Aries, required you to go into hermit mode to, to really close that shit out. We got the four principles. clarifying the hermit this new beginning is going to require you to let your guards down and open yourself up spirit says there is a, a a big piece of you that enjoys your solitude but with this new beginning and, and and finally getting to know somebody and finally starting over you do have to invest time spirit says some of that time is only going to be taken away from the time that you became so comfortable with giving yourself. So, Spirit told me that the collective of Aries during the pandemic has has embraced their me time, has embraced their solitude, has embraced their peace, has embraced their silence, okay? So, even the thought of somebody fucking with your hermit, <laughs> fucking with that, like, it's like, bruh, you want to come over, why do you want to come over? For what? You can stay over there. I can stay over here. We can link up another time or some shit like that. With the four pinnacles to the hermit, I feel like somebody might want to see you often. And because of how you've trained your vessel and how you've trained your brain and how you've trained your spirit over a certain amount of time, being in this hermit phase, being very spiritual here as well. And I don't care what nobody say. Yeah, they're not counterparts, but they're counterparts. The high priestess to the hermit, that's a very spiritual connection very spiritual union because the high priestess don't like the magician he's too flashy okay let's just get into it the high priestess loves the hierophant that's her equal that's her counterpart that's like her twin flame her divine masculine but it's something about the hermit little quiet mysterious fine smart educated wise ass that really gets the high priestess going there's something about the reservedness of your person of interest their mysteriousness their secludedness their all of that shit it really um you both have these 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 aspects where you You'll give each other enough space but it makes you want to get closer to each other at the same time because it's almost like you're like the only one that gets me is what they feel about you here Aries and you feel the same way it's like you get me when I need to just go meditate you get me when I need to just go download you get me when I need to just separate myself and get away from all this shit so there is a big spiritual understanding that this new beginning is about to bring into your life there is two spiritual beings two high vibrational beings here with the hermit and the high priestess hmm Two spiritual beings embarking on this brand new beginning. It's going to require both of you guys to open up the space that you've allocated or allotted. Okay, that card just came out. We'll take it. The space that you've allocated or that you've allotted to your me time. <laughs> as important as that may be to the both of you guys here. So it says, listen with your heart. You are listening, but need to hear with a loving ear. So I definitely feel like there's something that somebody is saying to you, Aries, and it's going directly over your head or it's going in one ear and out the other. It's very, very hard for you to understand somebody. And I think it has a lot to do with spiritual similarities and spiritual differences. You guys put spirituality amongst all things in both of you guys' lives. You guys put 
spiritual walk of faith or your belief systems here above all things in, in both walks of your life here. And I definitely feel like sometimes it's really hard to communicate because I see two people trying to talk over each other or I see two people um, not genuinely listening, talking to be heard and not talking to listen in the process. So the card says, listen with your heart because you are listening to somebody, but you need to hear them with a loving heart. Hold that space for them even in the process of disagreeance is what spirit says sorry y'all even in the process of your disagreeance you still want to hold space for somebody's opposite perspective even if it results in you agreeing to disagree with somebody you still want to be able to talk to be heard and to listen at the same time here it says the opportunity is here for you to bring a loving perspective to a situation it is easy to get wrapped up in the words being said what does your heart say about this situation? It knows the truth. Trust that. Sit still, take a deep breath, and ask your heart, what do you need to know? Love's first task is to listen. Do you have a habit of drifting away while someone else is speaking? Do you get entangled in your own thoughts? Time to take process of what is being communicated before you respond or react. Learning to listen with an open heart will help you receive guidance or affirm something you already know. Two young women are shown in this card. One holds a seashell to the other's ear. The seashells represent the good things that can be discovered in a challenging situation. The pod of dolphins playing in the background denotes the joy that may be found. The white horse may be a call to control your emotions. Stop and listen. What do you hear and how can it bring more happiness to your life? I send you guys eternal love, peace, light, and blessings. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, all my information is down low in the description box below. If you would like to check out the spiritual store, we currently have our goddess the bubble bath, herbal bubble bath, and herbal bath salts in stock. We currently have our sacred sage spray in stock. We currently have our ashe it away oil in stock. We have energy candles in stock. We have namaste candles in stock. Unfortunately, we did sell a lot of ashe it away candles and self-love candles but make sure you guys subscribe to the email list on the website so that way when everything is in stock i can always notify you guys via email i send y'all love peace light and blessings please don't forget to like share subscribe and comment